Hi, I'm Claire from Fly by Night Press, and today we're in Luxembourg. It's a rainy day, but still a great chance to see the sights in Luxembourg. After a scenic drive through the hilly green landscape, we arrive to our youth hostel in Vianden. First off, we decided to get some dinner. We meandered through the town until we found a restaurant serving local cuisine. The walk through the town along the Our River was breathtaking. After a night of rest and some breakfast, we decided that the first order of the day was to visit the beautiful Vianden Castle, which overlooks the town of Vianden. The castle was just a 10 minute hike up from the hostel, so we arrived quickly. It holds an important place in both Luxembourgish and Dutch history because of the nobles who lived here. We're just about to go into the Vianden Castle. Come along for a tour. Though in the 19th century, the castle has been sold off to private owners and fallen into disrepair. It was restored again in the 1970s when the Luxembourg government reclaimed it and invested in its reconstruction. In 2019, the castle of Vianden was listed by CNN as one of the 21 most beautiful castles in the world. Upon entering the gates of the castle, we entered a Hall of Knights, or Armory, where we could view suits of armor and med medieval weaponry such as spears, cannonballs, and maces. We learned that the castle began as a simple fort dating around the 4th century AD. As we climbed up through the castle, we could see many beautiful views of the hills and town below. In the next level up, we found a chapel with a nave and mezzanine overlooking the crypt. We climbed higher to find an open air gallery, the Byzantine Gallery, with amazing views. Next came an indoor gallery of photos and paintings documenting the history of the castle. It had been built up and added onto from the 11th to 14th centuries to create an enormous and beautiful complex. Higher up in the castle we found rooms that were decorated with furniture and clothing according from the 16th century.
We found more amazing views and a large well with wooden gears designed to carry water up into the castle. Eventually, we found a dining room with a fireplace and long embroidery tapestry. As we ended our tour, we visited the wine cellar where flags were hanging over several large tables. Perhaps the knights used to dine and drink here after their battles. We learned that this space and other spaces in the castle can now be rented out for parties, concerts, and dinner events. It's so interesting in here because there's a lot of history as well as really good news. Finally, we stopped in the visitor center where we found toys, books, and art for sale. They also had an information counter where we could learn more about the castle's history and what has been done to restore and be rebuild it over the years. We loved visiting this beautiful castle, one of the largest and most impressive medieval structures in all of Europe. Our next stop in Luxembourg was Luxembourg City, just about an hour away from Vianden. With a strong base in the banking and administration sectors, the city has many banks, business centers, and hotels. As we entered the city, we were met with large modern structures and a great public transport system, which is free for the public. We stopped at a green city park to relax. Luxembourg city center is built on a bluff between two ravines of the Alzette and Petrus rivers. It's connected to the surrounding areas by a series of bridges. From the center we could see the dramatic views over the cliffs into the ravines below. Luxembourg city center is the best part of this beautiful city. It is one of the de facto capitals of the European Union alongside Brussels, Frankfurt and Strasbourg as it is the seat of several parts of the EU government, including the EU Court of Justice, the Secretary of the EU, and the European Investment Bank. It's a very international place. Its population consists of 160 nationalities. Foreigners represent 70% of the city's population, while Luxembourgers represent just 30% of the population. Partly because of this importance in the EU government and partly because of its significance, as a Grand Duchy, Luxembourg City is filled with many stately buildings and churches. The Ducal Palace, which is the first structure built here, is elaborate and gives tours to the public. It's fun to wander and window shop in Luxembourg City among the fine stores and boutiques. It also has many cafes, confectioners, and restaurants. We found wonderful things to eat there like crepes and French style pastries. loved our stay in Luxembourg and would love to return sometime.